Hey you guys, Divine Feminine, or shall I say Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminines, the energy I'm getting from them is that a lot of them are very much so just tired and exhausted themselves and they're giving up on you guys. They're, a lot of them are moving towards their soulmates and a great deal are just saying fuck everything all together. Um, they just want to move on. Um, and that they're running away from the connection and when they do some going to meet up with you and tell you how they feel be transparent with you but a lot of them are just choosing to run, run away so let's get the messages universe has a divine feminine feeling right now they just want to stay busy stay on the pinnacles is what I'm picking up already they don't really care about the connection as much. Yeah, they. some of them, you know, um, know about the witchcraft that, you know, these karmics are doing um, to separate you guys. And they're just tired. They don't want to deal with the nonsense anymore. Like the, the karmic is too obsessive with what's going on and trying to keep you apart. Um, okay, universe, what else is going on? How the divine feminine feeling in regards to the divine masculine? Thank you. Yeah, a lot of them is doing a lot of drinking. Searching on YouTube. Many of them are just trying to rest mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. A lot of them want to go on road trips. What else? Universe, what else? Thank you. Anything else? Yeah, some of them do want to communicate with you, Divine Masculines. They want to tell you, you know, what they're picking up spiritually in regards to the contracts that you have with these karmics. What else, Universe? What else? What are the Divine Feminine feeling about the Divine Masculines with the karmic situation? They're hearing about all this gossip. A lot of them don't care about the gossip. Divine uh, masculines. They're having a lot of uh, lucid dreaming and um, astral travel to where you are. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? How the divine feminine feel in regards to the divine masculine uh, contract with these uh, karmics? They're telling you, you, <laughs> divine masculine. They're telling you that you need to sue this chick. Whoever you wear, whoever this karma gives, your divine feminine are telling you to sue them. And a lot of these um divine feminines, the DFs are stargazing, stargazing, seeing um what do you call them? Uh. I would say like falling stars and making wishes and stuff. They also know that they don't want, um, well, some do not want to get into physical altercation with these karmics, but I do feel that some of them are going to get into a um, physical altercation. Anything else? Universe, anything else in regards to divine feminine? How they feel in regards to the divine masculine and the karmic situation? Give us a T. What else is going on with this connection? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, divine masculines, they're really concerned in regards to this STD concerns too. Um, feeling like, yeah, I hope you don't think that you know they don't know about it, which they do. And they want you to stop wearing this false mask and keep it real with them because they already have the knowledge on what's going on and they know about the theft. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know what made me pick these back up. Okay. Okay, what else, universe? Whoa. Okay, that was a lot. That's probably why. I'm going to take them all, you guys, because these are going to be timeless messages. So a lot of people are going to be viewing the uh, messages that comes on. Okay. 
So a lot of the um, divine feminines are saying to you, divine masculines, that they know that you're not who you claim to be. And you keep um, socializing with these fake friends who are really like frenemies. And they're not going to sit up and have any um, mental breakdowns in regards to what's taking place because they feel like, why should they keep holding on to you when you're not doing your work? And they don't want to be in an obsessive state in regards to what's going on and the karma that's going to come back. They already know that karma is going to come back to you and your uh, karmic in regards to what you've done to them. They also know about many of you divine uh, masculines um, doing uh, witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, wiccan, occult um, on your divine feminine too. So this is another reason why a lot of them don't want to come back to you. And um, some of these karmas have been threatening the divine feminines already, hacking into people's accounts. As um, the divine feminines have been getting uh, tarot readings too in regards to the situation. A lot of them just tired and they want to walk away. And they know that you're trying to cover up some of your tracks. Um, a lot of you divine masculines don't want to uh, come clean about everything that's been going on too. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else going on with divine feminines? How are you guys feeling overall? Give me some, uh, oh, okay. Uh, universe, how is Divine Feminine feeling overall? What are they feeling about the Divine Masculine? What are they feeling about the Divine Masculine? Universe, thank you. They're conflicted, Divine Masculine. They're really tired, you know, and rightfully so. They're just tired. They don't want to deal with the bullshit no more. And they don't even feel safe themselves, which they shouldn't have to feel like that. It's either you make a choice. It's either you're going to leave these karmas alone and come towards your divine feminine. Because they get a lot of insight. They're sick of the bullshit. I'm going to be too, shit. You know, they're growing. They feel a lot of you have abandoned them. They're becoming very bashful too and they know and a little concerned about how your approach is going to be yeah it's just too much going on it's like a lot of them having a lot of great deal of not having any feelings in regards to they feel numbing with everything that's taking place and they just want something better you know they shouldn't have to go through all this they really shouldn't yeah they get a lot of insight a lot of them getting uh, visions about this, their guides, and um, the ancestors are talking to them. Oh, um, let's see what the moon goddess has to say. Moon goddess, what do you have to say in regards to how they kind of feminine my feeling in regards to the situation with the divine masculine and the Christ? Whoa, hold on. No, that one's going to go down. Okay. Thank you. A time to give rather than take. A time to give rather than take. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Bring love into the situation. Okay. You see that divine feminine, right? Bring love into the situation. Be understanding. Be a little bit more compassionate. And believe in the impossible. So you're being called to have faith. Show the world the real you. Don't hold back, not even for the divine uh, masculine or the karmic. And luck is on many of you. Luck is on many of you. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see how much time we have. Mm, let's see what the uh, fairies have to say. Fairies, please give us some information in regards to the divine feminine and the situation with their divine masculine and the karmic. Give us some guidance, please. Thank you. Give us some guidance. Whoa. Give us some guidance in regards to the situation with the divine masculine and the karmic. Parents, please give us some guidance in regards to the There we go. Wow. Okay, let me hear if I can get these because I know it's going to. It says the high priestess. Trusting your intuition. 
uh, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. So you're being called, um, if you're not already meditating, I suggest you do so because you're going to get a lot of re reflection and intuition in, reg in regards to the situation. And then you'll know if your divine masculine is actually